You all know him, you all love him. Put your hands together for Jim Hickok.
Just comics do those bullshit, like, herpes commercial jokes, like, what is the deal with the kayak and the herpes? <laughs> <laughs> do they really think that these people are going to show what people who suppress herpes outbreaks are doing? Like, snorting cocaine off toilet tank lids? <laughs> a stranger in the back of an 85 Z28 Camaro? <laughs> Showing up late to a comedy show? Yeah. <laughs> we do have a problem with diseases in this country. Uh, not so much like, like Haiti has a problem with diseases, but like we just don't name them very right. Um, perfect example is when somebody has HIV and it somehow gets worse, what do we say? We say, oh no, 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 no. He doesn't have HIV. He's got full-blown AIDS. <laughs> that is fucking rotten. <laughs> you can't do that with other diseases. You can't say like, oh no, 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 no. He is not retarded. He's got double barrel down syndrome. <laughs> There's so many trashy people out there. Like, I love trashy people because they're like so fucking creative. They're like three or four steps ahead of hipsters and like stupid shit to wear. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking true. Um, I saw a guy walking around um, and he'd taken off his like dirty, shitty wife beater and was using the head, like the fucking shoulder straps as a headband. <laughs> And the rest of the thing like flapping behind him like some fucking flag. I would have never thought of that. <laughs> Not in 100 million years of time would I have thought of that shit. So I had to figure out the fucking secret. And, you know, I went up and started talking to him, but I forgot. Trashy people communicate using spit bubbles. <laughs> you know, like, uh, <laughs> but I, I was patient and I broke the code. And uh, one spit bubble means yes, and two means I'll support the war in Iraq. <laughs> you can learn a lot from trashy people, though. Like, for example, if you're out of condoms, just use a Ritz cracker sleeve. <laughs> A bitch. <laughs> I don't know, I did, have a, I did have a good time while I was out there though. I finished uh, the novelization of Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> uh, it was definitely as good as the movie. Uh, they, def <laughs> <laughs> they were both worth camping out for. But sadly, when I came back, I found out that I had been kicked out of my Ubisang tribute group. I know, it was sad. We were called Hoobas Thanks for the Memories. Snacks. <laughs> we were actually better than Hoobas Thanks. I, um, I'd like to think that people who are into scat porn, uh, which is poop porn, um, but people who get into scat porn were originally jazz enthusiasts who just answered the wrong personal ad. <laughs> To, uh, I'm making a movie, and um, it's called Hobo Cop. <laughs> and the tagline for it is, I like biscuits! <laughs> and the, the story is, is that a bunch of entrepreneurial Detroit scientists um, find a homeless guy and try to turn him into a police officer using, you know, robotics and future. Um, <laughs> Biscuits and just keep running out of the supermarket and stealing them. <laughs> Working at it, I got an option out there. Um, most recently, in, in recent news, I did end up having sex the other night. Um, <laughs> yes, and laughter, one laugh. Because it's not true, it is for the joke, but. Uh, um, you know, and 
I'm, I'm okay with whatever a girl wants to do down there with the, the hair, you know, like whatever, but just use some fucking discretion. Because this girl, she had her pube shaved in the shape of a mustache. <laughs> Monopoly guy. <laughs> 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 